try and beat my time from the last hour, but okay. a, a lot of parents find it really hard to pull their children away from computer games, but you're actively encouraging children to use computer games. What sort of results have you had? Uh, well, I, I work for Learning Teaching Scotland, and we have an initiative called the Consolarium, which is uh, looking at how games-based learning can have a positive impact on the effective and cognitive development of children. So we've got games in nursery, primary and secondary school, Dogs, Guitar Hero, Dr. Kabushima's Brain Training, all these kind of things. The Dr. Kabushima's Brain Training, we only had it in a small seal intervention last year, and it impacted on maths attainment really dramatically in a primary five, six class in Scotland. Also, what, what sort of difference did you see in well, those Well, for children? instance, there were children who were going to learning support who, uh, at the beginning of the 10-week intervention, uh, one of the girls scored 23 out of 100, in, if you want to look at numbers. Uh, and for 15, 20 minutes a day, first thing in the morning, that was all, for the 10 week intervention, after that she did a similar test and she scored 65 out of 100. Now, a dramatic impact, and that was just, wasn't just one kid, that was across the board. Michele, I know you've, you've taught in secondary schools before and you do a Saturday class now in Leeds. In terms of what you're hearing, are you convinced by this? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with playing computer games. They're harmless enough and they're good fun and they can be useful. Uh, but what I'm concerned about is that, uh, uh, about the claim that uh, to motivate children we need to use computer games. I think, uh, as, as Susanna has pointed out, um, we are facing a, a, a crisis of authority where ch parents can't tell their children how to behave or what to do. Adults cannot tell children what's important to learn to become an educated citizen. Uh, I think the best thing to motivate children is to ch have uh, teachers who um, believe in, in subject knowledge, in maths, in, in history, in English, who really truly believe that that's important for children to learn and believe in the uh, ability of children to learn it as well. And Derek, what do you make of that point that if you tell children in a way that they're going to learn more from a computer game than from the teacher, that undermines the teacher's authority? No, I, I don't think they're telling children they'll learn more from the game. Teach, what we're advocating is that teachers can use appropriate games effectively to help open doors to the curriculum. A lot of children don't succeed in school. You know, they fail in school and they don't get any place. What we're finding with a lot of the interventions that we're doing is that it's switching, particularly boys, with things like writing activities. Children are buying, these boys are buying into writing activities because of the context that the game offers and the ways that teachers have said they wouldn't have entertained it in the past. So what we are saying is uh, appropriate use of games such as these things can open the door in the traditional curriculum to help children achieve. That's what we want. And isn't that the point? Because if you get any boy, girl sitting there doing maths, however they do it, isn't that to be encouraged? I, I think we are evading the problem. Uh, last year uh, on the Radio 4 uh, Today programme, uh, the, the former Secretary of State for Education um, um, said he hoped to improve uh, children's results uh, by giving them fish oil. Um, this year it's called psychology. Next year it might be, uh, who knows, uh, um, uh, snake oil maybe. I think uh, what we really need is, uh, is, is believing in maths, uh, uh, knowing that uh, uh, learning mathematics is important to develop children's minds. And uh, that's, the, that, that's the best. And there's nothing more demotivating than teachers who don't believe in their subject. When, when children see adults who do not believe that learning is important, that, uh, that learning subject knowledge is important, they, they, they are demotivated. Yeah. I mean, looking at you now doing this, it's addictive, isn't it? Uh, it's distracting, I have to say, because I'm not, able to, I'm not able to listen to anyone else while I'm doing it. I have beat my time, though. <laughs> well done. It's uh, 33 Look, seconds. Yeah, I suppose I have made progress. It's very good to talk <laughs> to you both. It's, it's a really interesting it and is. controversial subject, and I'm sure parents will have, mm -hmm. will have a view on it as well, as well as teachers. Do get in yeah, touch yeah, with us this morning. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks very much for your time. BBC Radio Scotland's investigation programme will be looking in more detail at these games at 9 o'clock this morning. i better hand that back to you, otherwise <laughs> my five-year-old son will be trying to get his hands on it. Thanks very much indeed. Now, it's exactly a quarter to eight. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News.